Hello, sports cards investors and fellow card collectors across the, the globe. My name is Steven, and uh, I'm welcoming you to my home here in Houston, Texas. Today I'm going to show you uh, this case. This case is my Michael Jordan card collection. It's about half of it. This is the higher end of my collection. The lower part would be mostly base cards and just, you know, half have cards but a lot of the base cards have been rising lately so they keep migrating to the box so uh but this is my michael jordan card collection it consists of many uh high quality inserts i i do use these pelican cases i really like organizing especially when you have like your psa bgs and then you know just you know your standard sleep cards uh it just helps keep everything nice and clean dark uh away from you know, pollution, contaminants, pollen, dust, all that stuff. So I keep my collection pristine. You know, as soon as I get a card, I put it right in a sleeve and right into a, a holder until it's sent off to graded or however the case is. I'll be sending in actually this whole row for grading here soon. And so maybe I'll get a video when I get all this back. These are some great cards. I can't wait to show you what I got. I think I'll start over here with the uh, PSA. This is mostly PSA right here. Um, but uh, I've got uh, almost all the refractors, a lot of full sets, and some great cards. Let's take a look and see. And I'm just going to pull each slab out. This is, uh, you know, the, the original Jordan refractor, number one. It's like a must-have if you're a refractor collector. And I happen to be a huge refractor fan. I'm a hit, big refractor fan. So you'll kind of see that here in most of this collection. Now, all these cards, I uh, started collecting uh, on a random whim. I, I, I ended up buying some some fake Jordan rookies. for, And I knew they were fake. I knew they were just replicants. Uh, but I ended up getting them in my hand and uh, had a bunch of fake star cards and kind of brought up some old nostalgic memories from when I was uh, younger. And, and I... I I love this white refractor. It is so sick. Shout out to uh, Stan Bay, if anybody knows who that guy is. Yeah, he's always got some great cards to sell. Uh, that's a good refractor, too. These have been going up a lot lately. They're just on fire. Um, I think I see a lot of Jordan cards are still on fire, just despite the... Um, you know, the recent rookie change, you know, where the changing of the guards have happened and, uh, you know, the rookies are no longer in the spotlight. So you see their cards slumping. I think the Hall of Famers like Jordan and Kobe and Shaq and some of the big guys, minus LeBron. LeBron will, you know, he'll always be LeBron right now, but he's got a couple more years. But I think the Hall of Famers, if you're a card collector, will always have value no matter what, even to you or not. But for me, it's Jordan. But anyway, let me continue. Now, I love the Atomic Refractors. This is a 10 I got, and usually BCCG, they're really lenient, but this one is truly a 10. The, the corners are flawless. It's got great, it's not a lot of greening in it, a microscopic amount of greening, I can see. Here's the actual refractor, and you can see the difference between a card that's beginning to green and a card that's in full color, you see. So. Here's another Atomic. These are so hard to find now. The odds of these are ridiculous. And I mean, just in the past, like you didn't even see a few Atomics then. It's just, they were so hard to get. And to have every Jordan Atomic refractor, uh, I'm just, that's insane. I love it. Uh, it's been a journey to find these. This one's a huge one. Maybe one day I'll upgrade to a better grade, but you know. Another Atomic, another another awesome, I mean, I, I really love the Atomics. This one's probably the prettiest Atomic of all time. It's just gorgeous. Uh, if you have a chance to get your hands on one or two, get them in there. They're beautiful cards, I love looking at them. Let's go, now it looks like we got some inserts. This is a sick insert here. Anything flare metal. Now the Electric Court Gold cards, see how they got the refractor on that? These are a great, this is a great set to have. Um, I've got all of the Electric Court Golds. It took a while to find the right ones and it was just uh, 
it's a, it was a great journey, but I see these rising in value over time. They were so rare. So, you know, to actually have the Jordan or any of those players, uh, I think you'll see the prices on those rise. Serial numbered Kobe Jordan. I have this whole set. Uh, and I, I'll, I'll show you it to you another time or maybe this time. I went at, you know, I like to get a lot of the base cards. Uh, so like having at least a grade nine, oh, we'll show that guy later. Having at least a grade nine for base cards or something, something to have. Uh, I, I just kind of like having the base cards graded as well. But these were cards that I accumulated in trades with other cards, or I, I found a smoking hot deal on eBay and I just had to, couldn't pass it up. And so a lot of these cards I have, uh, you know just acquired just as a base or sometimes it was in a, a trade so a lot of these i just kind of have this is a sick insert i have two of these this is a hard insert to get in a good grade this is a, i think extremely undervalued i think eventually this card right here may rise so i i bought it early on like i think i got this for like twenty dollars which was, holy cow, I'm sure the value's much better now. I think I, I paid $5 for this card, just telling you. I don't know what it's worth now. It's probably worth 20 but still, a $5 investment now for a $20 return later is phenomenal in my book. You know, I, I think it's still a win. I love this card right here. This is one of my favorite Jordans because it's got the city of Chicago in the background. I grew up in Chicago as a young child, and that's when I started collecting cards. I started, collect, yeah, I started collecting cards, but at that time, the Bulls weren't even on the radar. Basketball cards weren't even on the radar uh, in Chicago. Um, you know, uh, baseball cards and football cards. And remember, the Bears had just killed it, and everyone in Chicago was still singing the Super Bowl shuffle, uh, even though they didn't win it all the time. But the, in 86, they were the Kings. This is a base card that's taken off recently. You know, I think you know as much as they printed of those, they're still kind of rare because a lot of them were just destroyed. The members only. Those are always just good to have. This is a sick insert. Real pretty. Oh my gosh. This guy, I think I got him for like super cheap. I just love refractor looking cards. This was a base card, actually, like a base insert of the Wizards jersey. Here's another electric court goal. This was just like a Jordan. I think I got this for like five bucks. It's probably worth, you know, again, like in that's a $20 card. This is my lowest grade of this one. I got a couple of these guys. Shout out to Kenny Smith on the, the Jordan Network for a good deal. Again, you know, this was something I probably couldn't pass up. It was just an Alpha Beta Jordan card. I like the way they look, and it was in a good grade. It's a graded 10. It's like a pristine Bowman. It's the, it's the base card. And then again, a hard court. And this guy, the base card. Just, de you know, grade 9s, grade 10s. Is like, if you can just keep stacking them up, they're just great. They kind of memorialize the card, and it's a nice thing to have. All right, so we got done with this row. Now let's bounce over to the BGS side. My OCD will totally kill me and I'll get all this done later again. These cards right here are pretty sick. Um, if, if you notice, this is Joe Bryant, Kobe fa Kobe's father with Julia Serving, Calvin Nett. This was just a card I couldn't pass up. I thought it was amazing. And a grade nine vintage card like this. I mean, come on. It's, it's like... 40 years old. That's sick. And I think this is a Kareem I picked up. I started going on a, um, a old vintage player kick and, you know, bought a couple Wilts, bought a couple Kareems, and, you know, I think it's just sweet to have in your collection. Let's bounce over here to the BGS side. This is a uh, first class die cut. Again, this is the iconic, you know, 80, uh, 96, 97 Chicago Bulls. Destroyed it, you know, with the three-peat again. I got a couple of those. This Kobe Jordan East-West. I have to get this re-slab because the Kobe's on the front. So I think if I send this to Beckett, they'll actually re-slab it for me because it's slabbed backwards. So as an error, 
it's an error card. So I'm going to eventually send this in. Probably PSA, actually, you know, just because PSA seems to have a better hold on the marketplace. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, it seems like they got 80% of the grading and their cards are now favored uh, in price, which when I first started collecting, BGS was favored over PGA, uh, PGA uh, PSA. So now it's kind of flip script, seeing how they have a larger grasp on the marketplace. And, you know, Beckett was sold. The original older of Beckett, uh, the founder of Beckett, uh, does not own it anymore. Now it's like a private company, and they don't seem to have the attention that uh, and the love for you know the hobby as it used to be with that company. So I think everybody's just fleeing Beckett and getting over to PSA, and that's basically what I'm what I've done. I flip script. I was going to have all of these cards graded with Beckett. I filled out the paperwork, took days. Now I'm flipping script and going to PSA, and I'll be sending these into PSA. It's it's a lot cheaper, and they seem to have a better grasp on the marketplace right now. So. We'll roll with it. More refractors. It's a nice grade. These, I have the pair in a nice grade. I love that. Sick. This is the a pair in tandem with that white refractor I have. This is the standard. There's a black refractor available. But that one's getting crazy. This is his most iconic insert, I think. It's like the sickest. Um that these just keep going up they'll never go down i think they're having a slump right now but they're going to keep going same thing that pmg green that was sold that's the base card for it that seems to have skyrocketed this guy right here i'm from houston he's got the keem on the back you know uh the bulls almost didn't get jordan he was third uh houston picked akeem first they could have picked jordan and chicago would have probably taken akeem wouldn't that have been a whole different planet if Jordan didn't go third in the draft? Here it is. This guy right here was hard to find. And it's hard to find these guys in good grades. But this is the Charlie Sheen uh, Electric Court Gold. And I think someday this card's going to have some iconic value. Uh, Charlie Sheen's kind of tough on himself. Um, I'm not saying anything bad or wishing you ill will about the guy, but... You know, he, he he's going Jim Belushi on us at, uh, you know, hopefully Charlie's around for a while. But I don't know. This is the only card with his face on it, and that's a rare one. I think uh, if you have a chance to scoop something like that up, I think that's going to have some big implications on the road. Now, this was a huge card. Stan Bay hooked me up on this guy for the orange test refractor. I never thought I'd ever own this card, but the it's just sick, and the values on it are continuing to go crazy. Rock the House, that's a sick insert. This is the Electric Court Gold of Michael Jordan dunking. This is the serious one. I think this is the higher value of the seven of them that I have, but that's a iconic. Another one of these guys. This is the Borderless Refractor, sick. Uh, these borderless, the people don't know the odds on those. They're much harder to get. And so I think that those those are going to double in price over the standard refractor. Those are just good to stack up on. Another electric court gold. Everybody should get a copy of this guy. That's pretty standard. You can still affordable. The Rockstars refractor. This is a sick, 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 sick card. The values have gone up. So happy I bought this. I have this set. I love these power boosters. I think they're going to keep going up over time. These are like these are like Tops Atomics, which I'm a fan of the Atomics. More refractor. This is a sick card. If you can get your hands on one of these, probably the sickest refractor. The colors and it are so dope. I would absolutely recommend getting a copy of this. Sick. Again, these cards are sick right here. It's like a moving atomic. Sick. First day issue. It's got the little refractor here. These are hard to find. I think there's only a thousand of each one of these. And then the base. Uh, I got the refractor of this guy, but this is the base. Uh, the base even shot up in price. These guys, I've got, I've got some of the golds, these limited editions. I think these are highly undervalued. They're extremely hard to get. 
and uh, people are going to get after them. But I got several copies. I, I just like to have a, a, a good copy and a grade, so that one I wound up with. The chrome cards, even these base cards are rocking it now. It's crazy. Another just decent base. It's got the emotion piece. It's a little refractor on it. Yeah, the epic team, a grade nine. Another base, another base kind of insert. This top crop is a nice card because it's got a really cool refractor to it. Just like anything with the refractor, they look so sick. I mean, this card is actually just sick looking. And again, the base of the Jordan Duncan. It's, it's an iconic card. Here's his uh, 87, 88 second year sticker. Pretty solid card. I've, I've got the rookie sticker in a great condition. I'm going to send it off get it, get it, to get it graded. And, uh, you know, see what happens. It's actually a really good condition. Phenomenally great. Phenomenal. So we'll see uh, how that game plays out. And let me toss these back in here. And then we'll go to the next layer. And see what I got sitting in there. Let's go through this row here. This is probably, uh, these are the cards I'm going to be sending off for grading. And these are the cards that made the cut too, because I've got a lot of doubles of these guys. But, you know, through clever inspection, you know, I found an error or two. But these are the ones that made the cut that I know are solid candidates for grading. Um, at a minimum, like grade eight, minimum. Anything that I think would get a seven, I don't even send it in. It's just a waste of time. So I'm going to go for, uh, you know, just nothing sitting in the things that I, I could potentially get 9.5s on a lot of these. They look excellent. This was a set that I bought, the gold die cut set. I got the whole set. Uh, every player is just an amazing set to have. I don't, I don't know. It, it's so hard to actually get this set. I mean, I mean, I think these packs came with one card in a pack. And there's 24 packs in a box. And you may get one gold card out of a box. So to get a set of 50, that would be damn near impossible. So um, this was accumulated. Uh, I actually bought sections of these of this set in three different purchases and was able to put the whole set together. So... This is the whole gold set. Pretty cool. Now, this row is starting the beginning here. Again, I got another Scoring Kings I'm going to send in. A lot of refractors here. This is the Generations Refractor. The Bowman's Acetate Clear Refractor. This one's got a good color on it. The Finishers Refractor. I got two of those guys. Super iconic, sick. This card actually looks really good. The corners are really solid. There's a small microscopic amount, amount of fuzz, like you can barely, barely see it. And, but there's no blemishes on the front of the card, so I think this might grade pretty good. I'm excited to send it in. Team Leader, this is like one of his first inserts. This is like one of the first inserts that were made. Um, you know, Flair's first you know, parallel insert sets. The team leader, these are in perfect, phenomenal condition. I bought these, uh, both of these copies really early, uh, a long time ago, um, when I first started collecting. I just wanted to have these for, I remember trying to get these cards when I was a kid. Now I have the whole set, but I, I remember trying to get this team leader and it was just impossible. Star Power Plus, it's a sick, sick, sick card. The Supreme is freaking amazing. I don't own it, but one day I will. This is my Jordan rookie sticker. It looks pretty decent. The centering's pretty decent. Um, the corners are nice. So I don't know what this would grade for. I'm going to just roll the dice and see what happens. The, it looks pretty decent to me, though. Off a little bit, but not far enough to get it like a, a six. You know, I definitely think this is a seven to an eight uh, yeah, at its best. This hot numbers card, super sick. Total D, again, that was like, you know, part of the team leader package. Soul of the game, such a beautiful card. I love the the, the colors always change throughout the card. Each, each copy you get is different than the next, which I like that. Like yours is unique almost. 
You'll never see another one with the exact same color setup. It's Natural Born Thrillers. This was like the second, the second biggest card I rebought, and I I paid like two hundred dollars for it. That was just like and now I look at the value as you know super super huge deal. Rock stars, the Beam Team die cut. Again, my little po I was talking about those power boosters earlier. I got all three of these guys, the Jordans. Love them. These are actually just sick. They're like Atomics. All right, we're moving. More refractors. The Wizards, some of the Wizards Jordan refractors. This is an iconic refractor. Sick. Values keep going up really well. The Chicago Bulls Chrome Refractor. Sick. This is a hard one to get now. I mean, the values have skyrocketed. This guy right here, one of my favorites. It's the Masters Refractor, and it is numbered. So, really rare to find this. It's a white unicorn. Uh, Vic Boss sold me this card. A while back, I won't tell you what I paid for it, because... It's worth way more now. I think I've quadrupled my money on this card if I wanted to sell it. Another Wizards Iconic Sick Refractor, The Move. The Tops, Chrome, Top 40, Bowman. Now this, the Best Cuts Die Cut. Beautiful card. I got two of these guys. That, 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 I think this is just the base. Yeah, I pulled this out of a BCZ G case. I'm going to send in for PSA. So this is uh, just a base card. This is a black label. The Topps Gold black label. It's a really hard kind of card to find. But another Electric Court Gold. I have this whole set. The Finest Mystery Refractors. Just the gold, just the gold, yeah, the gold masters. Another uh, atomic, uh, or uh, electric court gold, shooting stars refractor. I got the atomic for this, not the, it's really not an atomic, it's like the base stars, but it looks crazy. This is a sick card, the borderless. I see these going up in value extremely. They're really hard to get, especially in good centering. The finest, yeah. I think I got another Kobe. The hardwood. And this is like a another Jordan, but let's see here. These next two are huge. Ooh. This round ball royalty looks like it came fresh out of the pack. It doesn't have a blemish in the planet. I cannot wait to send this in and get my 9, 10, whatever they're going to give me. But this is gorgeous. This guy, however, <laughs> the edging on this card sucks. But the card's in phenomenal condition. Color's great. The surface is beautiful. It's just the, uh, the edging on these cards. When they produced them, I think something happened. The guys got drunk. I don't know what happened, but... They all came out. They're really hard to find this over at 8.5. It's really rare. The Beam Team Jordan. This has been getting some love lately. The Base Round Ball. Now these guys have been getting some love for a while. One of my favorite, favorite uh, inserts is the Emotion Gold card. It's just bomb beautiful they don't lose their color they stay crisp like they just got them you know the planet met in the metal universe you know again another sick card i'm gonna have this one graded these are some sick inserts from flair flair made the beautiful most beautiful cards they were sick i i just see those cards going up in value they're so sick some a few other cards that are gonna just keep gaining in value Here's those golds I was telling you about earlier. I got two of them. Sick. 
uh, this right here, the gold and silver Encore, it's numbered to like 500. It's a sick card. Just, it's just like a purple refractor that looks so sick. Some of my favorite. I love shiny cards. It's my thing. It's what I do. I think that guy's sick. Power and key. I got an extra whole set of these. The the whole complete set. These are sick. You get the whole crew. Well, you gotta start with the gold. Gold's the top dog. It goes to silver. It goes to bronze. It goes to red to blue. The whole crew. With their powers combined, they are awesome. Let's keep rolling. Now this guy was pretty standard to get, but then if you get the die cut, those are pretty hard to get. I actually have this entire die cut set, uh, every card in the set. They had the holograms, when holograms were just sick. The difference from the die cut and the, the regular is that on the back, the die cuts in silver and the, the lettering on the base is gold. You can kind of see the difference. This prolific card, I didn't even know this thing existed. It's kind of hard not to see the, there it is. See it all light up, sick. It's just sick looking. SP Excitement is another just cool ass looking card. I love shiny cards. Same thing, this is SPX Masters, it's another sick card. SP SPX was, you know, they were making cool looking cards like this in the beginning. I love just seeing that. It's another good card. Stadium Club was on the game. Look at these. Sick. All oh, these are gorgeous cards. Gold medallion. Here we get to the end of this pile. This is a cool set. This is the hard one to get. These two are common. You don't see this one come around much. So if you catch a deal on this guy, go ahead and pick him up. And another gold, larger than life, sick insert. These acetate cards have gone up in value, real pretty. This one I got at a card shop, it was 20 bucks. I'm sure the value's gone up. 70 wins, the season when they almost never lost. Game action. This team leader is actually in, or this Living Legends is actually in really decent shape. I think it'll grade really well. The corners are really clean, everything's clean. Numbered card. Of a thousand, or two thousand. Flare Showcase, some more stickers, Shooting Stars, a Borderless, Chrome, 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 gotta have all the Jordan Chromes, the High Flying Soaring Stars, that's actually the upgrade to the Parallel, Beam Teams, here's some of those vintage cards I was talking about earlier, I'll show those later. Now that Goodwill stuff came out and I had to get a couple refractors since, you know, they're coming out with another Jordan card. This one's to 249 This is the silver. I think I got a couple silvers. Yeah. And that's it for this row that I'm going to be sending out to get graded. So all this is going out. And we'll see what the grades come back down the road. Hopefully they're nice to me. 
you know, we'll see how that goes. Now I got one more row left, and that's this guy here. Um, this is uh, some more really good cards. Um, I think this one I'll be sending off to Grady. I think I just pulled my Atomics out. So here we go. More Atomics. This gold right here. Sick. So sick. Really happy I bought this card. It was like a life goal to get this guy. Top stars. I have all of the refractors in the top stars. This iconic card here. So I busted this from a BCCG case at a grade 9. But it looks really damn good. Maybe the centering from top to bottom would change it. Maybe 8.5 to 9. But I'm excited because the corners are flawless. The color is excellent. I can't wait to send this in to be graded. Another sick. This is a, it's in flawless condition. Looks so good. Colors are great. Even the, even the card set's good. I can't wait to get this graded and see what this comes back as. Another numbered Jordan. It's just another really pretty card. Flashy. Isn't this like a special one? I think this is like a... Who knows how that guy got in there. Gold medallion. This Encore card. Not worth much, but actually it's just pretty. Oh, and these are those fake ass Jordans I told you that I bought <laughs> when I got inspired. Yeah, these uh, I actually kept them just uh, you know as kind of like a souvenir. Like, hey, I don't want to forget about these ones. They kind of got me. So these were like the first cards I bought before I bought this entire collection again. I I it, just for the storyline. I I didn't. I lost my whole collection when I was like twenty two, twenty three years old. I had a, a let's just say they were given away. And gotten out of the house and and uh and they just vanished off in the oblivion so everything that i had when i was a kid football baseball basketball all of it it filled the whole closet just vanished so uh you know rebuying some of these cards and actually obtaining the ones i ever wanted was really a great experience and now to have them all i feel like i have the collection i always wanted so it was a great thing to do regardless of this stuff takes off and does anything with money I had the most amazing journey tracking down some of these childhood relics and getting back to my, you know, youth and feeling like I'm 12 years old, wide-eyed, looking in a card shop. And I, I can remember when actually the 87 Flare came out, my uncle uh, had a card shop or had a coin store that sold cards. And uh, uh, in in the shop, there would be baseball and football and the basketball cards just sat there looking lonely. And they were like 50 cents a pack. They couldn't give them away because nobody cared about basketball at that time. They were, they were like, it's done. Nobody cares. And everybody was into baseball and football. And uh, man, hindsight's twenty twenty. You know, could you have gone back? You could have picked up cases of that. They would have they would have begged you to take it <laughs> in the beginning. So imagine, imagine throwing one of those in a garage and not caring about it for, you know, 30 years. So let's keep going. These are all great insert cards, iconic, iconic insert cards. You know, I think you should own every one of these. Some of the base chrome cards, I think I have all of them just because I tracked them all down. Slick silver. This is that other shooting star's topped base. It looks like an atomic, but that's just the base. So don't get fooled, this isn't special. It's just like the base card. The Generations Jordans. I don't have any autographs. It's the one thing I don't have any of. I never got into the autograph phase. Um, and of course, I wasn't around when they were even out. Um, you know, so I don't own any Jordan autograph cards yet. And I imagine once I get done with my refractor collection, I may dig into those. This guy's a gold. What is that number? 5,000. It's not really that rare. It seems rare. Some limited editions. Now, these cards I won't send off for grading. These are just like some of the base cards and inserts that I like to keep that were, you know, kind of cool. 
Seem like the ones that he, this is like a full size card. I don't even know where this comes from, but it's an unstamped beam team. Kind of interesting. SPX. This whole beam team gold set I bought uh, in a sealed box. Uh, the sealed gold set. I bought it for 60 bucks. I think now they're going for like 700 I just broke it and took the Jordans out and took all the star players in the shack and threw them in sleeves immediately. And uh, they were pristine mint condition, great centering. So I kind of got lucky. Paid 60 bucks for all the golds and the shack rookie, you know, and, 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 and all the common players and the gold. So a great investment. Some more vintage Jordan stickers. I don't even know why I bought this because I know these are like whatever, but it was, I think it was a midnight eBay purchase. It happens. We're all guilty. Why does this guy even matter? I think this is like the lowest dollar refractor alive, but it's there. The Bowman products were always are good. I got fooled with this one. I thought this was a refractor. This is just the top's base card. So don't get fooled. If it doesn't say refractor, it's not a refractor. Don't fall for it. Stadium Club. They made the sickest, some of these sickest inserts. I like the, really like the way they look. Wow, that's so green. You see that? That's what you call the Hulk. Hulk smash. That's Hulk. These base finest cards. I really like the finest cards. Out of all the the cards that came out, I I just really like the way the finest cards look. That's another Hulk. Look, Hulk smash. The gold, the blue. These metal cards have been taken off. Got several of them in there. Simple inserts, you know, cheap ones, but you know they're they're kind of cool. And you, you, know, you, you I kind of see like as attention keeps grabbing, like people gravitate towards cheaper cards, and that makes the prices of them go up. So some of these low end inserts, this guy's gone up a little bit. Some of these low end inserts actually have a lot of value, and they continue to have value down the road. Another Hulk, look at that, the Hulk. I think I got this for like five bucks at a card shop. Even if it's Hulk dot, it's still decent. court goal i just got this mentors lebron jordan not many cards with them two on it and it looks like the last some of these normal numbered college cards you know anything numbered in 99 or 150 i don't care i'll, I'll get them this one's to 50 and I guess uh, to close it out, I'll just show you these last vintage cards I got. And that's this whole box. You just, if you stayed to the end of the video and you heard me rambling the whole time, congratulations. If you like the, some of the cards that you see, sometimes you discover cards that you never even knew existed. I did, I've done that by watching a couple of videos. You know, I, I like to watch uh, on YouTube. There's a bunch of guys you can tune into, um, you know, uh, that are really useful you know cardboard conicals guy named josh he's really informative always brings other card collectors on and they generally share their experience or their opinion of the market or however that goes but it's good to good to tune in a little bit and hear him he, he likes to talk about a lot of vintage cards um and he, they generally stick around the jordan realm uh a little bit they co constantly uh revisiting the vintage market so i really like his perspective there's also jeff wilson um, he's a, he's a real good guy. Uh, seems to be just a really, uh, really, really kind hearted dude that this has really great optimism. Um, seems pretty honest as well. He's got one called, uh, the sports cards, uh, was it sports card collectors or oh, sports card investors. And, uh, uh, you know, he's got a thing, uh, he's even got a program on there for tracking card value and sales and other things like that. I'm actually experimenting with it now um, and just giving it a shot, seeing if it fits my collection. Right now I have everything registered in the Beckett marketplace, but the prices in it are like way behind the world. So it's not really an accurate representation of their, your, your 
collections value. Uh, another guy I like checking out every now and then, PSA collector. He's I, I got to give it to him. He, he you know he he throws good information in your way, and he's he's good at good information to look and you know if you're gonna get your cards graded, what have you. He seems to be uh, pretty consistent. Um, so there's a couple good guidelines. Even the there's another guy. Uh, was it the personal family investor? Uh, I think that's his name. Personal family investor. He's he's another. Uh, yeah. Oh no, it's the per, what is it? What is it? The personal finance dad. That's what it is. Personal finance dad. He's he's got great information too. He's constant, constantly analyzing, constantly looking at cards, looking at previous sales, looking at trends. He's generally giving good information on all sports. So uh, you know, uh, these are good guys to go to YouTube and tune into. Uh, and I may share their I may share links to their pages down below uh, this link just so that you can check it out. I don't care if you like me. I don't care if you follow me. This is just a video to, uh, you know, send it out there in the ether. Uh, I'm not trying to become uh, a YouTube star, but, you know, these are, this is our a collection that I took a lot of time to put together. Uh, I think it's super unique. Uh, you don't really see something like this very often. I definitely want to share it with uh, everyone else to, you know, show what, uh, where, where, where it can go, where it gets to. And, you know, if you have goals for things that you want and cars that you just want, sets that you're just trying to make, just go ahead and do it you know you know go and get get through and 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 accomplish those goals and get those sets uh filled and and you know just uh have fun with it uh, i've had a blast searching these down i've made a lot of friends across the world actually uh that are other collectors where you know we've sat and talked for hours or we did multi-card trades to get different cards and um you know, it's 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 truly like there's 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 some camaraderie in collecting cards, and uh, you get to you know meet a lot of like-minded people around the world that are that kind of have the same interests. So it's really it's really a great hobby for that just that alone. Even if the values slump on these over time, I'm pretty sure everything will catch back up. Um, it's no big deal. Uh, these cards are already what 30 years old. The majority of these, some of these 40. So uh, you know, we're not going anywhere. We'll be around. But I guess, uh, you know, let me end. I, these are some of the vintage cards I picked up. So Wilt Chamberlain cards. Relatively cheap. You can get these right now cheap. I don't know if that'll be forever. As the hobby grows again, maybe people will try to gravitate towards some of these cards since the scarcity is probably a lot. Dr. J and Wilt and Kareem. And that's it. That's it for my mostly Jordan box. I think that was about 99.9% .9 Jordan in there. Um, maybe I'll make another video. I've got some other boxes just like this with, uh, another whole full box of base Jordans. And then, uh, I've got like my common player box, which would be the, my Shaqs, Kobe's and LeBron's actually just three. So that's it. If you liked the video, um, you know, hopefully it inspired some of you guys to, you know, put some sets together and, 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 or maybe see some cards that you've never seen before that you, you may have to have now that's a disease it uh it should be should be scheduled with the doctors that 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 is a an official disease that when you see something in you see something shiny and you got to go get it uh they don't leave your thought until you do so that's just how it goes with card collecting uh i wish many of you luck in uh in building your collection and uh hope you enjoyed everything uh we'll talk to you soon cheers <laughs>